How can you suck this much? I'm honestly shocked guys. How how do you possibly suck this much? It takes skill to suck as much as we suck on offense. The Chicago Bears offense going up against the worst pass rush in the NFL without one of their top guys, Jadavian Clowney, you know, with having such a trash defense behind them, not having a great secondary. This defense was ranked 27th in the NFL in yards given up. Going up against that defense, we scored zero points. Zero points through three quarters of this game. You guys don't realize how rare it is for an NFL offense to score zero points against a defense this bad, especially without their top pass rusher, okay? You have to mess up multiple times over and over and over again every single drive, every single quarter. You have to have key mistakes on every single play, on every single drive. And that is exactly what the Chicago Bears did, okay? Because after every positive play that we had, the few positive plays that we did have in this game, okay? We did have some 10-yard rushes here and there. We did have some, you know, 15, 20-yard pass completions here and there. But after every single one of these plays, we followed that up with a huge loss, penalty, or turnover, okay? Either Nick Foles got sacked or, you know, we fumbled the ball away or... We had a false start penalty or maybe a hands to the face penalty or whatever the case was. After every single one of these positive plays, we went backwards. Which I have to say again, guys, it takes skill to be that bad because no NFL offense does it so many times. Besides maybe the Jets, okay? You have to have so many key mistakes. You have to mess up every single time. My hat goes off to Matt Nagy and the Chicago Bears offense because they continually found new ways to impress me with how bad they can possibly be. They found new and creative, innovative ways to mess a drive up. So good job, Chicago Bears offense. I mean, you really outdid yourself with this one. But putting all jokes aside, guys, I mean, this was a type of offensive performance that really warrants a big change being made on the offense because week after week every single week man Matt Nagy says the same exact stuff and it never gets fixed the following week I get that he has terrible offensive linemen to work with okay all across the board man all of our linemen there was straight garbage today okay maybe the best guy was actually Charles Leno because there was like a few decent blocks that he made but I cannot say the same for the rest of the offensive line I mean Jermaine Fetty, he whiffed on a huge block on fourth and one on that counter play that Matt Nagy ran for some reason in the Titans territory that was a dumb play called by Matt Nagy first of all but an even worse block attempt by Jermaine Ifedi there was false start penalties Hambright looked completely lost I mean Bars was getting pushed back instantly Coward we already know how much this dude sucks he's an absolute bum he does not deserve to be on the Bears starting lineup I do not know why he is still playing for us so all across the board man our offensive line was so garbage they were getting pushed back instantly there was no pocket at all for Nick Foles to throw from, but even taking all that into account, Matt Nagy found no ways to scheme around that because he kept on trying the same exact plays that were not working the entire game. Why are you running up the gut on fourth and one, on first down, on third and short, when it clearly does not work? It did not work throughout the entire game. So what makes you think it's gonna work the next time? That's absolute insanity, trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That is not how the NFL works. You have to adjust, you have to change things up, but Matt Nagy is incapable of doing just that. So you guys saw there was not a lot of variety, a lot of creativity in the route concepts that Matt Nagy ran throughout this game. I mean, the plays that he ran in the third quarter, they were almost the exact same to the plays that he ran in the first quarter and you know situationally also Matt Nagy is just such a terrible play caller what happened at the end of the half when we should have easily gotten a field goal okay there was no sense of urgency no sense of trying to push the ball down the field I get that we have such a bad O-line but a few times in this game when Nick Foles did take some deep shots they were connecting now obviously Nick Foles is to blame there as well because he looks scared to throw a pass more than five yards but can you honestly blame him completely for that I mean he was dealing with one of the worst offensive lines I've ever seen in Bears history. So I'm not going to entirely blame Nick Foles, but Nick Foles also did not look like a good quarterback at all today. He looked skittish in the pocket. He looked afraid. I mean, he could not step up at all. He was very inaccurate, threw some balls that could have been picked off. So Nick Foles was not good at all in this game. But I got to say that Matt Nagy did not put him in the best position to succeed. Okay, some of the plays that he was calling, 
there were free rushers coming directly at Nick Foles. You know this guy is not mobile at all. You know this guy cannot make plays to escape the pocket. Why are you calling these plays schematically that require Nick Foles to be something that he is not, okay? If I look at his numbers from this game, he threw the ball 52 damn times. You cannot expect a quarterback like Nick Foles to have any success when you have him drop back and pass the ball 52 damn times. That is ridiculous. I get that the run game was not working throughout this entire game, but a lot of that also has to do with Matt Nagy's run plays, okay? He wants to run it up the middle. All these counter plays that cannot work with a bad offensive line. We got very few plays going to the outside. The few plays that we did get going to the outside, they worked, okay? Cordo Patterson, I believe he actually had a couple of decent tosses. He only had 13 yards, but he only carried the ball three times. So, Cordero Patterson, man, he was working at the beginning of this game, but for some reason, for once in his life, Matt Nagy did not want to give the ball to Cordero Patterson, when for once, it was actually working. So, I just cannot understand Matt Nagy's play calls because he gets away from things that work, but he wants to try things that do not work. So, that's a sign of a stubborn coach that does not know how to make adjustments during the game. Other coaches in the NFL, they know how to adjust the game plan with the flow of the game. They try things that work. They adjust schematically a little bit here, a little bit there to match up better with what they're seeing on the field. But Matt Nagy has shown that he has no knowledge of doing that. So I 100% get that the offensive personnel was so bad in this game. You also cannot win many games by turning the ball over this much, okay? We turned the ball over two times in a close game. You cannot do that, okay? David Montgomery is fumble that led to a touchdown for the defense. You cannot do that in a close game. That was bad by our offense, but I do have to say that Matt Nagy's play calling is one of the biggest things also holding this team back. Do I blame this entire loss on Matt Nagy? No, I do not because it's impossible to really score a lot of points with an offensive line playing this bad but to score zero points throughout three quarters of a game against the worst pass rush in the nfl and with how bad some of the play calling was you got to give some of the blame also to matt Nagy. so i get that our offensive line is about as bad as it can possibly get you know we were making mistakes throughout this game too we were fumbling the ball away turning the ball over doing a lot of bad things on offense our quarterback was not the best either but at some point our head coach needs to be accountable, and I think that time is right now, guys. The one thing that hurts the most about this loss, though, is that we had so many chances, so many opportunities to win the game still because of how elite our defense is, okay? We have a Super Bowl-level defense. We have so much talent all across the board on this defense. Our defense played the game of their lives against an explosive offense that ranked number four in the NFL before this game. Derrick Henry was having a crazy year. He only had 68 rushing yards in this game on 21 carries. That's a pretty damn good job against the best running back in the NFL. So our run defense was a lot better than I initially thought. For the majority of this game also, Ryan Tannehill did not do much of anything. He only had 158 passing yards. He did have two passing touchdowns, but for the majority of this game, Ryan Tannehill, he was a non-factor. The Titans only had 228 total yards of offense. You should win a game when your defense plays this good. Jalen Johnson played the game of his life. He had a lot of pass breakups. Rokon Smith also looked phenomenal. He had nine solo tackles, two tackles for loss, a sack as well, a QB hit. I mean, Danny Trevathan, he looks a lot better now than he did earlier. So Danny Trevathan, man, he's also showing up big time. I mean, Bilal Nichols had a sack. Kyle Fuller, he had a few plays where he was looking a little bit iffy, but for the majority of this game also, he did lock up the receiver he was going up against. So our defense played a beautiful game against one of the better offenses in the NFL, but none of it mattered because our offense sucks so bad. If you give this defense to the majority of teams in the NFL, they would be Super Bowl contenders because you just need an average offense. I mean, not even that. You probably need a below average offense with this defense to be Super Bowl contenders, but we don't even have that. We are pretty much the worst offense besides the Jets in the NFL. So incredibly frustrating game. I mean, it hurts to be a Bears fan right now because we really bought into the season after the 5-1 and start, but I really don't know what to think about the team after a loss like this, after a three-game losing streak, because you cannot do that in a conference like the NFC. This is a tough-ass conference, and it's going to be a challenge to make the playoffs. And at this point, the playoffs seem like a fantasy unless we somehow turn things around immediately. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, it is the NFL, so crazy things can happen. Maybe if you make a quarterback change, maybe if you you know, make a change at play caller. I don't know what needs to be done, but something needs to be done on this offense. Otherwise, 
this season is going to be a wash. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But as always, bear down. <laughs>